The whole, the whole promise of the new covenant would be that it was going to be something more than the old covenant where people worked and worked and worked and did this and did this and did this in order to try to merit something. The promise of the new covenant from God was God saying, I am going to invade the nature of your mind. I'm going to do a reprogramming of your heart so that the things that you do, you do them because I'm doing them. In Ezekiel chapter 36, we see this. The the Lord speaks through the prophet Ezekiel. This is the promise of the new covenant. He says, God says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. God is saying in the new covenant, I'm going to be the cause of your obedience. I'm going to be the cause of your walking in my statutes. I'm going to be the cause of you following my rules. I'm going to be the cause of all of this. I will do it. I'm not going to leave it up to human will. I'm not going to leave it up to any kind of human initiative on whether or not the terms of this new covenant are fulfilled. I'm going to cause them to be fulfilled. The biggest difference between the old covenant and the new covenant was not so much the obligations and the terms, but rather it was the power. It was the guarantee that was poured out at Pentecost that is deposited into the elect where God says, I will cause you to walk in my statutes. My people will believe. My people will repent. My people will trust. My people will obey. My people will have faith. My people will be redeemed because I will see to it. See, in the old covenant, there was no guarantee of success. But now, in the new covenant, success is guaranteed because, listen, because we have been redeemed. We have been redeemed by our greater Boaz. We've been redeemed by our greater Goel. 